The mount can powerfully enhance the freedom of lens design and offer an impressive image experience through exceptionally sharp scene depiction. The Nikkor Z lenses are designed to maximize the power of an abundant volume of quality light for image creation. The lineup has grown to 18 lenses, including teleconverters, that let you cover from 14 to 400 mm. And today, we are proud to announce the two newest models of the Z mount systems, the Z72 and the Z62. Over many decades, Nikon has consistently been in pursuit of developing true ease of use gear to shoot remarkable image wheels. Each of us at Nikon has done our best to improve our camera and lenses so that they feel just like in your hands. Thus, enhancing overall concentration and the natural joy of shooting. It's our drive and passion to deliver such an inclusive experience to you. The Z72 and Z62 embody all of our efforts without compromise. Dual engines offer faster processing and workflow. Dual memory card slots have been installed. A vertical battery grip and USB power supply are also some additional example of ergonomic and functional improvements. The Z72 is an absolute immersive masterpiece. When abundant light delivered from the Nikkor Z hits a high resolution 45 megapixel sensor, your creative vision are turned into exceptionally sharp, beautiful, and immersive images. The Z72 reinforces the overall workflow of shooting high resolution images. For example, you can continuously shoot three times more frames compared to the Z7. The visibility of the electronic viewfinder during high-speed continuous shooting is also improved. If you attach the new Nikkor Z 50mm f1.2 to the Z72, you can enjoy both an exceptionally sharp, fine depiction of details and large, beautiful bokeh unique to f1.2. The Z62 is a true multimedia powerhouse that lets you shoot unparalleled stills and videos with Nikkor Z. For shooting stills, the increased frame per second speed and buffer capacity make it easier to capture moving subject. For shooting videos, various functionalities help raise the production value even in professional assignments. Nikkor Z F1.8 series now have five lenses. When combined with the Z62, they let you make a distinct difference in your video shooting with beautiful bokeh, from wide angle to medium telephoto. Nikon Z mount system means largest mount, abundant light, the ultimate imaging experience. The next chapter of Z mount system is about to begin. Thank you for joining us today. Again, we are pleased to embark on the next chapter of the Z mount system with you. My name is Masahiro Horie, Managing Director of Nikon Singapore and Asia Pacific. And I am excited to be involved in sharing our latest mirrorless cameras with you. Since we first launched the Z mirrorless system two years ago, we have been driven to showcase Nikon's endless pursuit for optical performance by incorporating the largest mount to help deliver an abundance of light 
and the ultimate imaging experience. Through this launch, we hope to further ignite your passion for creativity and visual storytelling. After all, creativity is like a muscle. The more we exercise and express it, the more it develops. In today's digital age, sharing our memories has become more important than ever. Stories connect us to our families, our friends, and to the rest of the world. But how do we bring our stories to life? We all have a blank canvas within, from where our story begins. How we uncover these treasured moments and cherished memories is for you to script. Regardless of where you may be in your journey, the Z-mount system of cameras and 18 Z lenses for now are here to help you craft your masterpiece. A great story starts with you. We hope you share our excitement in the two new Z cameras and we eagerly look forward to celebrating the stories you create and share. On behalf of all of us at Nikon, we thank you for your passion and advocacy of the Nikon brand. Welcome to the next chapter. Hi, thank you for staying tuned with us today. I'm Albert, the technical evangelist and product specialist from Nikon Singapore and Asia Pacific. Before we hear more from our Z creators that have tried the cameras, today we have a very special friend, a Z creator herself, Petrina with us. We're going to talk more about the Z7 II as well as the Z6 II. So without further ado, this is the camera. Hey. Hmm. You know, Albert, I got uh, two Z cameras myself. Yeah. And I always like the ergonomics on my camera. And um, I must say that this feels familiar. And yet, I think it's even better. The grip is deeper. And then you can, it feels very, very comfortable in my hand. And um, the build hmm, feels very, very sturdy. Mm, but I'm sure in this sturdy build, you all, have, you all must have um, added new features and new improvements to the camera. Can you tell us more? For a start, this actually has a lot more processing power. So the, this camera itself has dual x 6 processor now, which means that you get more buffer capacity, more FPS, as well as faster autofocus. So it means that actually you can shoot longer and faster without uh, worrying too much on the camera itself. Oh, that's great. That means we can, um, it, we can go longer without missing a... moment at all right okay that's that's really really good um and i think uh for still in itself actually now shoot all the way up to 4k 60p which means you have a lot of flexibilities uh, to create uh, slow motion in post as well as uh, the powerful autofocus now that also track uh, eye the detection as well uh, for both human subject and animals detection as well oh, that sounds amazing mm, but with all these new amazing features right what about the battery life and the storage? I think that's very important because to support all these amazing features, there must be we must be able to shoot longer and all that. So how does that work out? Yeah, you have a lots of uh, power delivery option. So uh, for the starts, you can actually use a, a power bank into the USB the port that you can actually power out uh, a lot more. And you can also put in a battery pack that support a variety of battery option. And uh, besides that, the camera also have two slots now. It actually support three cuts formats. You can do XQD, you can do CF Express, as well as the SD card. Yeah. So the, not just that, all these lenses that you see on the table itself also is uh, still expanding rapidly. Can be compatible to your cameras that actually helps you to create your masterpiece. Wow, oh, that's so great. I can't wait to try my new Z7 II and uh, 50mm 1.2. Right, okay, so I'm going to go and try them now. And meanwhile, there are other Z creators who just got their hands on the new cameras and I think they can't wait to try to share the experience with you. So let's hear from them. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Asthana, a portrait and wedding photographer based in Mumbai, India. I love to tell stories through my photographs. I just tested the second generation Nikon mirrorless the Nikon Z6 II and here are my thoughts. I absolutely loved 
the speed and autofocus capabilities of the camera. I captured dancers in action and am amazed by what this camera can do. The iDetect AF worked really fast and I managed to get almost all my shots in focus even while shooting very fast, unpredictable action. At 14 FPS and such fast and accurate AF, you will never miss a moment and that is important for me as a wedding photographer. The AF worked equally well when I was shooting Malcolm artists in the dark. The low light ISO performance looks promising as well. Since it has dual Xpeed 6 processor, I can now keep my image review on at all times without any blackout. And the buffer when shooting at burst mode has widely increased. It uses the ENEL 15C battery, so you can now charge it while shooting. You will never go out of power. Oh, and I love the fact that it has two card slots, CF Express and SD. For video users, there are some exciting features like powerful eye detection and animal detection autofocus. You get full range of options from 8-bit to 10-bit analog and 12-bit raw output. It is an evolved hybrid camera that has great performance for both stills and video. I'm glad to see that Nikon is working towards building even more reliable gear for me to create with. Hi, my name is Eunice. I'm a food photographer and also a stylist based in Malaysia. I've been using Z6 since 2018 when it first launched and I personally prefer a small lightweight camera because I myself is pretty small size so this camera has served me well so far with plenty of amazing pictures and satisfying clients i'm so glad that nikon gave me this opportunity to upgrade my camera to the latest z72 with great megapixels comes with great responsibilities for this project i have chosen a few raw ingredients that has different shapes and patterns because i wanted to try using the z72 and see how how well can it bring out the texture in those food? For example, the first one, I've chosen spaghetti. I really love the curvy edge that the pasta has. And for the mushrooms, I love the lines underneath it. And I've chosen quail eggs because I love the polka dots on the eggshell itself. I've also set a low light setting because I think that really brings out the best texture in food. And the Z72, didn't fail. For the fourth picture, it's actually a collection of Malaysian desserts. I love the colors, the patterns, the shape. Everything just binds so harmoniously together in one platter. Using the Z72 feels very familiar, just that it's better. Because for me, I can zoom in, keep zooming in and still see the details being retained in the image. I don't think I need a lot of editing because the image itself looks so good coming straight out from the camera. It has been a wonderful first experience for me with this camera and I really look forward to having more adventure with this Nikon C7 II. Hi, I'm Joel Lam. I'm an urban and lifestyle photographer but professionally, I focus more on food and product photos. In contrast to my professional work, I tend to post more night and moody shots on my social media. This provides me with an avenue to expand my creativity and view photography in a different perspective. Having used the camera for a fair bit, I really enjoy the new grip. It is slightly bigger and beefier, making it feel great in the hand as it is easier to hold. The Nikon Z6 II has dual card slots. One slot is able to take either the XQD or CF Express cards, the other can take SD cards. I usually split the RAW files into one card and the JPEGs into the other as a backup just in case there is ever a memory card failure. To back this all up, for the first time ever in Nikon's mirrorless lineup, they have not one but two XSpeed 6 image processing engines. This allows for blazing fast write speeds and buffer while also allowing 14 frames per second, full resolution stills with autofocus and auto exposure which is absolutely perfect when I want to do particle photography as it gives me a much higher hit rate to get the perfect shot that I want. With most of my photography being done at night, it is still able to autofocus on the subject in extremely dark places. 
IAF and animal detection can now be separately detected with the wide area autofocus instead of just the auto area. If you're ever in a pinch and forgot to charge your batteries, it now also supports USB power delivery or charging from power banks or AC adapters. This is by far one of the best all-rounder cameras that I have used. I'm Nikki. I'm a landscape photographer based in Sydney in Australia. I love to shoot at sunrise in particular. We're really lucky to have some amazing beaches here in Australia and I love watching and capturing the sunrise over the ocean every single morning. I also love to shoot aerials and capturing the textures of the water from above. As a Z7 user, I did notice some big differences with the Z7 II. What I first noticed when I picked up the camera was the dual card slots and also how sharp the screen was. When I was out shooting with it, the first thing that jumped out at me was the increased buffer speed and also how smooth the viewfinder was. And generally the camera just feels a lot faster, but retaining all of the good features of the Z7. So still feels really portable, still feels great in the hand. And of course the image quality is superior as well. I typically shoot really early in the morning before the sun's come up and the camera performed really well in that low light situation. I was able to shoot off the tripod, really low shutter speeds handheld, and that helped me to capture some new perspective and really tricky angles that I wouldn't normally be able to capture. And I noticed the quality as well of the image in a really high contrast scene was exceptional. I was lucky enough to shoot from a helicopter with the Z7 II, and those conditions can be really, really tricky. There's lots of wind, lots of vibration, and the scenes are constantly changing. And the camera handled it really well. So the first thing I noticed was the autofocus. It was really, really fast, and I didn't have to worry about missing any of the critical moments. There are lots of challenges when you shoot from a helicopter. There's lots of wind and movement and the scene's constantly changing. I shoot in burst mode and you're just constantly firing the camera trying to get that shot. What I noticed afterwards is that all of the images were really sharp from corner to corner. And even when I had to crop in in editing, it still retained sharpness across the board. There was so much that impressed me about this camera, but if I had to choose the most impressive thing, I think it would be the increased buffer rate and the viewfinder changes combined. I shoot down at the beaches, I like to shoot lots of water textures and the increased buffer rate combined with how smooth the screen is meant that I'm able to shoot much more efficiently. Hi, I'm Shad Rifai, Nikon ambassador for Middle East and Africa. I've been shooting Nikon cameras for the last 15 years and I always amazed with the quality Nikon provide me. I'm shooting landscape, travel photography, uh, portrait, uh, fashion and macro. And now I'm very happy to be one of the luckiest person to use the new Z7 II. This camera, as you, as you put your hand on it, it's really amazing the way it's built. And uh, it's, it's familiar, it looks familiar from the outside. All the buttons is in the right place where it have to be. The major thing that you're going to see in this camera is the new two slots. You uh, can add two cards in the camera and no more complaining for people who really demand for these features. One of the features that I really like and I use while I'm shooting this with this camera was the battery uh, charging through the power bank. This was really helpful for me, especially if I'm doing a long, uh, long time uh, time lapse and the long duration that I need this continuous supply for the camera. So this was really a good features. And in my uh, experiment with this camera, when I tested, I tested it in a different environment. I tested it in the desert. I tested it into the studio with a very hard conditions. I use, a, I use a fog machines, I use a haze machine, even the weather was not that clear in the sky. The camera performance was really amazing and it's uh, kept up to uh, keeping up uh, the, the focus point in the hardest situation. Uh, it worked in a very low uh, light conditions and it was really uh, amazing. So uh, in, my, in my favorite features that added to this camera, if I want to uh, uh, decide with one feature, will be the focus system. And one of the amazing uh, focus points that I love in the new camera is the wide, uh, uh, wide focus with the eye detection. So where you can uh, assign the box where you want it to, to, uh, to, to be, and the camera will do the rest, will keep focusing in the eye. So this is an amazing feature that I have to tell you about. Uh, thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm the main focus of the film and the film. The film and the film, I've been watching for about 9 years. In 2002, I switched to the Nikon Etch series. 
，其實我一直都幾中意佢自己本身個 design 嘅，特別係、呃、手柄呢個位啦。我開工咧，其實通常時間都比較長嘅，可能每一日都有至少九個鐘啊咁樣。雖然我長時間咁樣拎實部機，但係我一直都覺得佢呢一個位係好好拎啦，好好揸啦。就算我用長鏡頭用七十二百啊，誒，我都唔會覺得隻手好攰嘅。同埋有一樣嘢，我自己本身都覺得部機誒好 reliable 嘅，就係誒佢嘅防水功能我都覺得好好嘅，因為。我之前拍戲啊嗰啲咧，我真係我係一個好唔錫機嘅人嚟嘅。我係就算落緊大雨啊，拍緊雨戲啊，我都係就咁照拎住部機出嚟影嘅。咦，我覺得有一樣嘢佢有明顯嘅改善咧，呢部機咧就係佢呢個 sensor。因為咧，我之前咧拍戲咧，咁成日都會喺啲好逼嘅環境之下咧拍咧，咁成日都會其實可能要咁樣啊，咁樣啊。咁樣啊，咁樣去拍嘅。咁佢之前咧，成成日 sensitive 得滯咧。總之我一有少少咁樣咧，佢就會自己轉咗個 feel 翻大嗰度。咁、呃、我諗可能佢今次就改咗。如果 flip 個 mon 出嚟，佢就唔會再自己轉啦，係咯。咁所以誒呢、呃、一樣嘢對我嚟講係誒一個好大嘅改善啦。另外就係想讚嘅就係佢個 dynamic range 啦、啊。拍戲有時成日背光啊，咁可能都要靠後期去教翻所有嘢。但係佢有時佢好多好暗嘅位或者。好光嘅位咧，佢都仲係我翻去教完之後咧，都仲係有好多 detail 喺度嘅。誒，同埋我諗佢個連拍其實係應該快咗嘅。Hello, hi. My name is Vijay Sam. I'm an Indian wedding photographer. I've been shooting weddings from past ten years. I use Nikon Z6 as my primary camera. I had an opportunity to shoot Z6 II. Let me share what I think about this camera. The most significant improvement I can see is in the speed. Now it's got faster and longer burst with 14 fps AE and AF up to three times more buffer. I should definitely talk about another feature. It is a dual card. I was very much keenly looking forward to have this in a future body. Now it's there in a Z6 II. So it's got one CF Express and one SD. I always love to shoot backup. I can see a huge improvement in AF area modes. There are two additional modes now. One is animal detection and another one is eye detection. Another interesting feature I can see is during a tether mode while you're shooting, the battery gets automatically charged. How cool is that? Uh, at the same time, you also have a new updated battery, uh, which is EN EL15C, uh, which is about 2280 mAh, which is a huge improvement from 1900 mAh, which means you have more power to shoot. Thanks to Nikon for having me try this beautiful, amazing Z62. I'm super looking forward to have this Z62 in my camera bag. After I spend my time with the new Z72. For about the two weeks, and uh, I test lots of lens, about the 70 to 100, and the uh, not 58 millimeters, and uh, 85, and uh, 14 to 30, and uh, at also the 50. So uh, take many many situations, uh, just like uh, the underwater, in the forest, in the portrait shooting, and the street shooting. So uh, I think uh, I want to call it. The perfect version of the C7, because uh, the autofocus is incredible, and uh, one thing, the most thing that a uh, very big step improvement is about the focusing. Focusing is very fast, and uh, in the low light condition, it's very good. Even the lag time of the EVF from the monitor to the EVF is very quick. So I think uh, the people that have the problem with about the, the switching from the, the monitor to the EVF, so uh, it's gone. I want to give the compliment to the, the, the engineer team because uh, the buffering is uh, about uh, twice because uh, the, C, the old C7 is just about uh, 12 in the buffering mode when you shoot the raw file 14 bit and uh, uncompressed. So uh, now they start with uh, 28 in the same setting with the raw file 
they have the 28 to the buffer. Now we have the 10 frames per sec. So uh, I think it's very quite fast for the 45 megapixel cameras. And the one thing that impressed me is the uh, eye button. <laughs> we call the intelligence menu. Actually, the old C7 have uh, just about the 15 or 18 menu to you, to you bring to the shortcut with the eye button. Now the C7 II have uh, 38 shortcuts. You can select from the 38 menu to, to bring up here. Because uh, when you use in the different situation, this menu is very important to me. Uh, the autofocus is incredible and uh, they just change many, many functions of the, the focusing. Now we have uh, the IAF on the video mode. It's very suitable for the cinematographer because you can use the IAF and animal IAF on the video during your recording. I think uh, they double the X speed to two units of X speed now. So I did not surprise that the camera is faster about the focusing and the buffering that I said. And uh, the camera just like a perfect version, like just a big upgrade, not the minor change. I think uh, this camera, the C7 II, will be my favorite cameras and uh, tools for work. And uh, I think this is very perfect for, for me to use Every creative has it, potential. Do you know what it is? It's that blank canvas inside of you. It's every creative possibility in your future. It's where your story begins. It's not always easy to find, but you will find it if you dig deep. It took me years to discover mine. It took less than a second to recognize it. Feel it and grab it. And hold it tight. My natural passion to tell stories became my reality. Now find yours. It's there, right in front of you. Setbacks? There will be plenty. Learn from them. Leave them behind and get closer to your creative destiny. Realize the hidden hopes and dreams. There is a place for them in this world. So share them with all of us. Don't leave your canvas blank. Be true to yourself. Find your true potential. It's time. Ignite your passion. <laughs>